So anyway, I'm going to do a quick review on a Trijicon ACOG RCO weapon sight. Uh, when you purchase it, it comes in this uh, kind of cool desert uh, ACU camouflage box. Very military looking. Uh, the RCO was developed specifically for an M4 AR style rifle with a 14 and a half inch barrel. Uh, when you get the box, uh, you'll open it, and inside you will see a very nice looking uh, dark earth colored uh, little padded molly compatible pouch made by Eagle Industries, made in the USA. And inside, you would expect to find the weapon site. Uh, the weapon does come, or the weapon sight does come with this uh, neoprene uh, cover uh, on it. And it also comes with the uh, Trijicon Model T, as in Tom 51, uh, weapon sight uh, mount. Uh, it's got two stops for uh, Picatinny rail systems. Uh, it also, the box comes with uh, a Trijicon catalog, uh, your uh, warranty card, and a uh, little pamphlet on updated zeroing procedure, as well as a sticker. Anybody that sticks a sticker in a box with their stuff in it, I'll buy it just to get the sticker. Okay, so also in the uh, Molly pouch, uh, they have their uh, lens pen, which is basically one end is a brush, a soft bristled brush, and at the other end, this cap, you take it off, and it's basically like a, uh, a leather, uh, kind of a small, a tiny little chamois that you can uh, clean the scope with. Uh, also in here is the uh, Marine Corps version of the uh, operator's manual. Uh, this site, like I said, uh, was developed for uh, the M4. Uh, mainly it's uh, used uh, by the Marine Corps. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I bought it. My father was a Marine. I know a lot of Marines. Uh, and uh, definitely, if it's good enough for the Marine Corps, it's good enough for me. All right. So, take the uh, neoprene little cover off, and you witness greatness. The RCO weapon sight. Uh, underneath these two screw caps here and here are the adjustments for the sight to uh, windage and elevation. Here, uh, this uh, clear plastic. Uh, light collector on top with a red filament, uh, fiber optic filament running through it. Uh, that provides the light for the scope uh, during daylight hours. Scope also has uh, tritium in it uh, for nighttime uh, operations. Scope also comes with this uh, kill flash, which you can kind of tell how it works. Uh, it's a honeycomb material that uh, covers the front portion of the lens so it doesn't flash uh, unless you get it just right. Uh, chances of that happening out in the field are about one in a million. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of a nice luxury if you were to buy just the kill flash alone. I think it's like around 50 bucks. It comes with it. Uh, this is a 4x32 magnifying scope. 32 being the diameter, 4, 4 being the magnification level, it's fixed magnification. Uh, if you are lucky enough, uh, Trijicon had some issues uh, early on, uh, right after I believe Obama got elected. Uh, there was uh, some people who were offended 
and the military and uh, otherwise because Trijicon has a Bible verse that used to be written right next to the model number. I don't know if you guys can see it in here, but it's about right there. There was a model number and then a Bible verse that I believe it was John 8.20. I might be wrong on that. Uh, anyway, it, it basically described how the light will lead the way. And if you think about uh, Tridugon, most of their sites have the tridium in it, and that being the light uh, will lead the way, that tridium light. Um, also, a cool deal, I'm, I'm going to try to show you the inside of the scope. Uh, I think it's going to be difficult with this camera, but I'm going to go ahead and put it up to my lens here. There we go, it's in focus. Okay, you can kind of see that red chevron in there, and then the lines beneath the chevron. Uh, sorry, it's really difficult to uh, do that with a camera. Uh, anyway, uh, basically the scope can be used as a rangefinder. I'll show you uh, in the manual. It's kind of easier to see uh, what you got on the inside of the scope. Basically, you're looking at this thing right here. Inside the scope, you'll see this line and the red chevron. At the peak of the chevron, that would be your aiming point for anything between 0 and 100 yards. And then as you drop to 300 yards, uh, basically you'd be aiming using the center of the chevron or that red line just below the chevron. Uh, point being that a human-sized target, or rather a silhouette target, uh, being 19 and a half inches wide, would fit very nicely right between the two corners of the chevron. And then anything below that, you'd have the 500, or 400, 500, 600, 700, and 800 meter range. The distances on those lines would indicate 19 and a half inches at that yardage. So basically, you can use it as uh, a rangefinder. Uh, that I find really cool about that scope. Um, the way the way it's made, it's uh, basically two pieces of solid aluminum. Uh, well, that have been welded together. Uh, all the optics enclosed. Uh, it's completely water resistant. Durable as all hell. And uh, I can't speak uh, enough good things about it. Uh, this thing is durable beyond belief, highly accurate, and uh, the eye relief is very generous as well. So if you're interested, check them out. Uh, don't get sticker shock. You get what you pay for, just remember. Uh, so save your ducats. Check one of these guys out. If you guys have M4s out there, this is a perfect match. Oh, one last thing. Uh, these sites were also designed, I don't recall the system name, I th believe it's called the Bender uh, effect, but you can use this scope with both eyes open. Uh, it doesn't mess up your vision. Uh, you're, you're capable of seeing with both eyes open and still maintain uh, accuracy without any kind of uh, optical illusion or uh, parallax effect. So. That being said, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out lowbackprepper.com and have a good evening.